This week we're looking at Hemiptera suborder Heteroptera. Heteroptera are the true bugs, and not all insects are bugs. All bugs are insects. They have piercing and sucking mouth parts. They can be predaceous and plant feeders, and they can be aquatic and terrestrial. So they have this triangular plate you can see here in the left picture. Um, this prominent between the base of the wings and their body is usually broad and somewhat flat. They have gradual metamorphosis and they go from egg, nymph, and adult. Here's what they look like and it's very little difference between nymphs and adults in the way they look. Stink bugs are one type of true bug. They're five-sided. They put out an odor from pits on the underside near the base of their front legs. This is a defense mechanism. And they're out there, and you can see they blend in very nicely, but this I found on a lilac right near my house. So they're out there. Keep your eyes open. Some more stink bugs. So they're active in March and April. That's when they begin to lay eggs. The eggs are drum-shaped with circular lids. They're so perfectly shaped. It's really awesome. They're laid in clusters on the foliage, and then the immatures resemble the adults, but they don't have developed wings. Some stink bugs are predators. Here we have a spine soldier bug, still a stink bug. And unfortunately, what it's doing is it's actually killing a ladybug larva. They don't really care what type of insect they go for, but they have piercing sucking mouth parts. So what they do is they puncture the insect and literally suck the guts out of it. Um, several of these are pests uh, on vegetables and field crops. The adults overwinter in the ground, under leaves and orchards, legume crops, uh, blackberries and wheat. So keep your eyes open. So on green fruit, you'll get these darn dark pin pricks that'll have a light colored, discolored area. And then there'll be fissures below the surface that turn corky. These guys can also carry pathogens, so they may be spreading pathogens. And this right here is the brown marmorated stink bug. You've probably heard of it. It's a, a new pest in our area, relatively speaking. Here's some more of these guys. They're very distinct. Here's what that corky appearance looks like on a pear. So stink bugs can cause light colored hard spots on tomatoes sunken seedless bean pods, cat-faced fruit, and sweet corn will have rotten or hard kernels. And this is what I'm talking about when you talk about cat-faced fruit. And here's this lovely uh, corn, not looking very edible right now. So it's important to eliminate weed host plants and you don't want to mow cover crops or weeds when the stink bugs are present because they'll just move into the trees and they won't go away. So when you're managing, you want to hand pick the adults, destroy the egg masses, be sure you have a pest stink bug and there's a number of predators such as parasitic wasps, tachinid flies. This is a big eyed bug, also a true bug. Um, and the predators tend to like members of the carrot family. So if you're going to have them in your garden, you might want to plant things in the carrot family. Rhododendron lacebug, they cause stippling and they have a tar-like frass on the underside. They're about eighth of an inch long, with lacy looking wings. The nymphs are about all, also about eighth of an inch and spiny looking. And here's the damage they do. You can see the top side, we've got the stippling and then you'll see some frass on the underside of the leaf. That's your sign that they're there. They're going to be more severe on plants in the sun. The damage is found early to mid-July and this particular lace bug isn't necessarily found on azaleas. So hand removal of adults and nymphs on a regular basis will limit the amount of visible damage. Assassin bugs and minute pirate bugs may also help manage it. Here's a two-spotted stink bug. This is a predator of beetle larvae, especially Colorado potato beetle. They also prey on cutworms and armyworms. And here's a sassin bug, also a predator. 
They're slender, colorful insects. They can be blackish, reddish, or brown. They have very long legs, uh, extended three-segmented needle-like beak. So another great predator out there. The nymphs are very small, quarter inch in length. When they hatch, the adults are three quarters of an inch. And here's their eggs, also barrel shaped with a dark brown white cap. And they also lay their eggs openly in groups on plant surfaces. They're very poor flyers, so they're going to lay their eggs where there will be pests. And uh, the, they all um, are predators of caterpillars, leafhoppers, other bugs, and aphids. And here's a leafhopper assassin bug going to town.